The video presentation you are about to see includes some live game action and explains how to officiate matches played with build-out lines. As you see, these matches are for U9 and U10 players. The purpose is to promote building play from the back without undue pressure. This slide shows the dimensions of the field and specifically that the build-out line, BOL, should be halfway between the top of the penalty area and the halfway line. If the field is not lined exactly as the diagram shows, you should still allow the match to be played. If the BOL is not clearly marked, you can ask the coaches to put cones just outside the touch line on either side of the field to mark where the BOL should be. Opposing players must retreat behind the BOL on goal kicks or when the goalkeeper gets possession of the ball. Opposing players must remain behind the BOL until the ball has been put in play. The ball is in play when it is kicked and moves on a goal kick. The ball is in play when it has been released from the goalkeeper's hands after possession. The players wearing the pennies have possession of the ball. One of them kicks it out for a goal kick. The players in the white jerseys are defending the goal to the left. All the players retreat beyond the BOL, black dash line. The goalkeeper kicks the ball beyond the penalty area and the match resumes. When the goalkeeper has possession of the ball, he or she can release the ball back into play by rolling it on the ground or throwing it. The goalkeeper may not punt or drop kick the ball. The goalkeeper may put the ball back into play before all the opponents retreat behind the BOL. If he or she does so, the team is stuck with the consequences. Referees should be lenient about enforcing the six-second law by only beginning to count the time of possession after all opponents have moved behind the BOL. If the goalkeeper is taking too long to put the ball back in play, just encourage them to release the ball. The players wearing the pennies are attacking the goal to the left and the ball ends up in possession of the goalkeeper. The players wearing the pennies retreat beyond the BOL but one player in the white jersey remains in the penalty area. The ball is then put into play by the goalkeeper throwing it upfield. In this video, the goalkeeper in the red penny has possession of the ball and two teammates are in the penalty area. The opponents are retreating but the goalkeeper releases the ball just as the second opponent reaches the BOL. The opponents immediately attack the ball. Again, the goalkeeper may not punt or drop kick the ball. If the goalkeeper does punt or drop kick the ball, then the opposing team gets an indirect free kick, IFK, from the spot of the offense. If such an offense occurs in the goal area, the IFK is taken on the goal area line parallel to the goal line at the nearest point to where the offense occurred. In order to support the intent of this player development initiative, the referee should not allow any ongoing lack of respect for the BOL or intentional delay. Coaches should correct any such issues with their players and the referee can remind them if needed. If the issue persists, the referee has the option of cautioning, yellow card, the coach for unsporting behavior. The BOL also affects how offside offenses are called. There are no offside violations between the halfway line and the BOL. Offside violations can only occur between the BOL and the opponent's goal line. 